Over the last couple of weeks, a large number of you have requested that we do a video on football's greatest ever number sevens. And since we are the People's Channel, today we are going to do just that. Historically, and still largely to this day, the number seven shirts tend to be donned by a wide player. But in the last two or three decades, the number has also been adopted by a number of more central forward players. Oh, and before we start, I originally set a target of reaching 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year, which my boss described as unrealistic. So I'd be delighted if any of you don't already subscribe to the channel would help me prove him wrong. Here are football's seven greatest number sevens. Andrei Shevchenko. So, seventh place in a list of the seven greatest number sevens in football history. It doesn't get much more sevens than this. The man who takes that title is Andrei Shevchenko, one of the most deadly strikers in Europe at his best. An excellent all-round centre forward who was strong, industrious and clinical, Shevchenko scored 175 goals in 322 games for AC Milan. The Ukrainian number 7 was nominated for the Ballon d'Or 8 times, winning it once in 2004 and finishing third twice. Luis Figo the best footballer in the world at the turn of the millennium, Luis Figo is a remarkable technician with excellent close control, wicked vision and superb crossing ability. A six-time Portuguese footballer of the year who won the Ballon d'Or in 2000, Figo's peak was probably his final season at Barcelona, but he was excellent for both Real Madrid and Inter Milan. Capped 127 times by his country, Figo actually wore the number 10 shirt at Real Madrid, but he donned the iconic number 7 for Sporting, Barcelona, Inter Milan and Portugal. Kenny Dalglish A Liverpool legend known as King Kenny, among the red half of Merseyside, Kenny Dalglish is one of the finest footballers Britain has ever produced. A master schemer who operated as a second striker, in behind Ian Rush for most of his time at Anfield, the hard-working Scott scored a few as well, and he is almost as celebrated among Celtic supporters as he is among Liverpool fans. A Ballon d'Or runner-up in 1983, Dalglish won 10 league titles and 3 European Cups as a player, and he has previously been named as Liverpool's greatest ever player. George Best From probably the greatest player in the history of Liverpool FC, to arguably the finest from their northwest rivals, Manchester United. George Best was obviously a marvellous footballer who was comfortably among the best in the world for at least five seasons. A winger who scored 32 goals in his most prolific season, which was virtually unheard of for a wide player in the 1960s, that, combined with his long hair, good looks and playboy lifestyle, made Best the biggest celebrity in the sports history at that time. It's little wonder his number 7 shirt became so iconic at Old Trafford then, and Best is already our third Ballon d'Or winner, only four players into this seven. It's worth pointing out that the Belfast native was not without his flaws. He often played as an individual, and his demons outside of football saw his career come to an end at the highest level at the age of only 27, but he still merits fourth place in this seven. Stanley Matthews Britain's two greatest wingers of all time, in our opinion at least, feature consecutively in this seven. Matthews was arguably football's first truly global superstar, and he is the reason every boy in Britain would want the number 7 on the back of their shirts for so many years. Nicknamed the Wizard of the Dribble, Matthews was a master technician who was quick, agile and relentless in his pursuit of providing deadly crosses into the box. Every left-sided fullback in the world knew Matthews' tricks, but none could stop him, including the best of the lot, Nilton Santos, who Matthews humiliated at the age of 41. The most incredible thing about Stan may have been his longevity. His career spanned 33 years, ending age 50 and still in the top flight. He won a Ballon d'Or at the age of 41 and the FWA Footballer of the Year award at 48. Garincha The only right winger to have surpassed the great Stanley Matthews in the half century since he retired is the Brazilian maestro known as Garincha. A troubled genius much like Best, Garincha also had his struggles with alcohol but they took more of a toll after his career than during. A star of the Brazil sides which won both the 1958 and 1962 World Cups, Brazil never lost a game in which Pelé and Garincha both played. Nicknamed the joy of the people in Brazil, Garincha had a spinal deformity which left him bow-legged. Virtually unstoppable with a ball at his feet, Garincha spent nine years as one of the best players on the planet, and in Pelé's absence, he took that title outright in 1962. Honourable Mentions it was recently suggested that we should do some honourable mentions between the second and first place entries in our videos, so we thought we'd give it a go here, and we welcome your feedback on whether you like this approach in the comments. Honourable mentions here would go to David Beckham, one of the finest crossers of a ball and dead ball specialist the game has ever seen. 
quite possibly the most iconic number 7 in the history of the game. Bex came second in the 1999 Ballon d'Or, although he did of course switch to number 23 shirt at both Real Madrid and LA Galaxy. Another Manchester United legend in the form of Eric Cantona certainly warrants a mention, as does Beckham's former Real Madrid teammate, Raul. Both cult heroes at their respective clubs, and both finished in the top three of Ballon d'Or voting at one time or another. One Celtic great may have made this seven, but there are two notable ones who didn't, namely Henrik Larsson and Jimmy Johnston. Both world class at their best, they can consider themselves unfortunate to have missed out, as can former Arsenal and France star Robert Perez, an excellent technician who was equally effective out wide or through the middle. Some other players who were considered include Bastian Schweinsteiger, Frank Ribery, Kevin Keegan, Brian Robson, Tom Finney, Jorge Burachega, and more recently, Angolo Kante. So they are some of our honourable mentions, but we'd love to hear some of your suggestions in the comments. Before that though, we come to top spot, and that title goes to... Cristiano Ronaldo. In terms of talent with a ball at their feet, Cristiano Ronaldo would be no match for Garincha. However, the Portuguese superstar's effectiveness, consistency, and longevity make him the greatest number seven in the history of the game. Ronaldo's insatiable appetite to score more goals, win more trophies, and be considered the greatest footballer on the planet have made him an absolute force of nature for more than a decade now. The scorer of some 575 goals in 768 games for four different clubs, the winner of multiple Ballon d'Ors and five Champions Leagues, Ronaldo's achievements are inarguable. There may have been more talented or more iconic number sevens in the history of the game, but none greater than Cristiano Ronaldo. So that's it for our seven. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications for more from us if you enjoyed the video. And you can now also follow us on Twitter for more ramblings from me. Our username is simply at HITC7.